Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to write. And by the end of the lesson, you should be able to write an informal email based on prompt. Jadi pada hari ini, kamu akan menulis email tidak rasmi. Okay, so we are going to look at an example email and also an example reply to the email. Okay, so this is the example question. Your friend Andrew who lives in Birmingham will be visiting your country for a month. Read the email he has written to Mark, a common friend of yours who lives in another city. Jadi contoh email yang kita akan baca adalah email yang ditulis oleh Andrew yang tinggal di Birmingham. Birmingham ni terletak di United Kingdom. Jadi Andrew akan uh, melancong ke negara kita selama sebulan. Jadi email yang ditulis oleh Andrew ini uh, telah dihantar ke Mark. Mark adalah mutual friend. Okay, Mark adalah kawan kamu dan juga kawan Andrew yang tinggal di di negara yang sama tetapi di tempat yang berbeza. Okay, so here is the email. Dear Mark, guess what? My parents and I are staying at a resort in your country this summer. That means I'll be able to get together with you and some of the others who were here on the language course last year. I'm so excited. We'll be there during the month of August, so I was thinking of paying you a visit on the second weekend in August. Would that be convenient for you? I plan to arrive by train sometime on Friday afternoon and I was wondering if you could recommend a good hostel somewhere near the station. I don't want to be too much of a nuisance so we could get together anytime and at any place that is best for you. Just tell me how to get there from the station and I'll find it. You probably remember that I'm really into photography. I'd really love to get some good shots of nature spots or places of historical interest while I'm there too. What do you suggest? Well, got to go now. Can't wait to hear from you. Yours, Andrew. Okay, jadi ini adalah contoh email yang telah ditulis oleh Andrew. Dan dihantar kepada Mark. Now we are going to look at Mark's reply. Hi Andrew, I'm so glad to hear that you will be here in August. It's the best time of the year and it's wonderful that we'll be able to get together again. We won't be on holiday in August and my parents insist that you should stay with us while you are visiting. We have lots of space and my mother would be very disappointed if you stayed at a hostel. Since you are arriving by train, I suggest that we meet at my father's bakery. I'm usually there on weekday afternoons and it's very close to the station. The main entrance is on Chester Road. Turn left and walk along this road for a bit. Take the second turning on the right into Maple Street. Our bakery is at the first traffic lights on the corner of Maple Street and Redwood Avenue. You can't miss it. Well, I have to rush off to the bakery now. Hope to hear from you soon. Bye for now, your friend Mark. Okay, jadi kita sudah tengok, kita sudah baca email yang ditulis oleh Andrew kepada Mark. Kemudian uh, email yang Mark tulis untuk membalas email Andrew. Okay, jadi berdasarkan kedua-dua email ini, kita akan tengok um, which parts of Andrew's email that Mark responded to. Okay, jadi in Andrew's email. He wrote, I was wondering if you could recommend a good hostel somewhere near the station. Jadi untuk membalas bahagian ini, ayat ini Mark telah menulis, 
my parents insist that you should stay with us while you are visiting. This means that Mark is actually offering accommodation. Accommodation maksudnya tempat tinggal. Now, the next part that Mark responded to is this part. We could get together anytime and at any place that is best for you. Jadi, Mark memberi respon dengan memberi cadangan, giving suggestion. Since you are arriving by train, I suggest that we meet at my father's bakery. Jadi, Mark mencadangkan untuk berjumpa di bakery ayahnya. The next part that Mark responded to is this sentence. Just tell me how to get there from the station. So here, Andrew is actually asking for direction. And Mark responded by giving directions. So here we can see that Mark said the main entrance is on Chester Road. Turn left and walk along this road for a bit. Take the second turning on the right into Maple Street. Our bakery is at the first traffic light on the corner of Maple Street and Redwood Avenue. Okay, so based on what we can see here, Mark has responded to Andrew's email by first offering accommodation, second giving suggestion and also the third one he gave direction. Okay, but however, there is one thing that Mark forgot to reply. He forgot to reply to this question. What do you suggest? So here, Andrew is actually asking for suggestion. However, in his email, Mark did not give any suggestion. So, I think we should help Mark. So, I will give you two options and I want you to think of the best answer to the question that Andrew has asked Mark, which is, what do you suggest? And also, remember, at the beginning of the paragraph, Andrew mentioned that he is really into photography. Okay, remember that when you choose the best answer. So, these are the suggested answers. The first one, there are so many fun things to do here that you'll have a hard time choosing where to go first. There's a great water park we definitely have to go to. And the nightlife is something else. We'll have a great time. The second suggestion, how could I forget your passion for photography? There is an archaeological site nearby that I know you love. You'll be able to get fantastic photos of the ancient ruins and the surrounding countryside is absolutely breathtaking. Plus, there are lots of other fun things to do in and around the town. So, berdasarkan kepada dua pilihan jawapan ini, apakah yang sesuai untuk menjawab soalan What do you suggest? Okay, so kita tengok balik. Which one is the most suitable one? It's the it's the second one. Okay, how could I forget your passion for photography? That is the keyword photography. Okay, jadi di mana kita sepatutnya letak perenggan ini? We should put the answer after the second paragraph in Mark's email. Okay, so jadinya begini. This is the answer. Alright. Okay, now, so based on Mark's email, we can conclude that he responded to Andrew's email by offering accommodation, giving suggestions and also giving directions. Dalam email yang ditulis oleh Mark, dia telah merespon kepada email Andrew dengan melakukan atau menulis tiga perkara ini. Okay, offering accommodation, memberi cadangan dan juga menunjuk arah. Alright, so now this is your task for today. Okay, ini adalah tugasan uh, kamu pada hari ini. So, let's look at your task first. Kita tengok dulu tugasan kamu untuk hari ini. Andrew will also be visiting your city or town 
as has sent you the same email. Write an email responding to Andrew. Jadi Andrew telah menulis email yang sama dan menghantar email yang sama kepada kamu. Jadi tugasan kamu hari ini adalah untuk menulis email untuk membalas email Andrew. Okay? So this is the email that Andrew has sent to you. Okay, sama saja dengan contoh email yang tadi okay, yang ditulis oleh Andrew. Jadi benda yang sepatutnya kamu buat untuk membalas email Andrew adalah the first one is to offer accommodation. The second one is to give suggestions and the third one is to give directions. However, for today, untuk hari ini untuk memudahkan kamu, kamu cuma perlu buat dua perkara iaitu give suggestions and give directions. Jadi kamu perlu merespon kepada dua perkara ini atau dua ayat ini. We could get together anytime and at any place that is best for you. Itu yang pertama. And then, just tell me how to get there from the station and I'll find it. Itu tugasan kamu yang kedua. Jadi, yang pertama, kamu perlu mencadangkan di mana untuk berjumpa. Berjumpa dengan Andrew. Kemudian, uh, kamu perlu menunjuk arah. Kamu perlu membimbing Andrew macam mana nak sampai ke tempat kamu nak jumpa tu daripada station. Okay? So this is the email that uh, Mark has written. Kamu boleh ambil contoh daripada email Mark tadi yang kita telah tengok tadi, tetapi kamu cuma perlu ubah yang cikgu sudah warnakan. So first again you need to give suggestion. Cadangkan di mana kamu nak berjumpa. Kemudian This part, you need to give directions. So, how do you give directions? You can refer to this map. Kamu boleh pilih mana-mana tempat untuk berjumpa dengan Andrew. So, from the station road, mungkin kamu nak jumpa di corner cafe. Jadi, macam mana nak sampai corner cafe? Ah, So, you need to figure that out on your own. So let's say I want to meet Andrew at the fast food restaurant. So what is the direction? So from here we can see from the exit of the station road, you should walk straight and then turn right. After you turn right, you should walk until the end and then turn left. So the fast food restaurant is here. Okay, so this is an example which I have done. I suggest that we meet at the fast food restaurant. So here is the fast food restaurant. From the exit of the station, walk straight until the end of Royal Avenue and turn right. So walk straight until the end of Royal Avenue and, and turn right. Okay. Walk along Park Road for a bit, then turn left into Park Avenue. So, walk along Park Road for a bit, then turn left into Park Avenue. Walk straight until you see the fast food restaurant on your right. Okay, so this is an example of how you should give directions. So, before we end our lesson, let's recap at what you should do today. So, you need to write an email responding to Andrew. Kamu perlu tulis email untuk membalas email Andrew. And then, you can follow or you can copy down Mark's email. Kamu boleh gunakan um, email yang ditulis oleh Mark sebagai rujukan. Tetapi, kamu perlu ubah bahagian yang berwarna. Okay, first, you need to give suggestion on where to meet. And then, you need to give the right directions. Kamu perlu mencadangkan di mana untuk berjumpa dengan Andrew, kemudian menunjukkan arah yang betul untuk pergi ke tempat tersebut. Okay, so you can refer to this map. Pilih mana-mana tempat di peta ini, kemudian tunjukkan arah yang betul. Alright, so that's all for today. Thank you very much for being here. Stay home, stay safe and I will see you in our next lesson.